nice being in the finals. <laughs> I, uh, I've seen you wrestle a lot. I've never seen you that excited. I'm in the World Championship Finals. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, you got them over again. Talk about putting them away, because that's what you've been doing this tournament. Just wrestling tough, wrestling smart. Just trying to keep my pace, just trying to get at a, a higher level, higher level intensity, and you know, trying to get my stuff, but also capitalize on um, him being out of position. That's what happened on that one. Um, I knew I got that caution too last time with that um, that body lock. He knew exactly where I was going to throw that and was settling his hips perfectly, so I couldn't throw it. So I tried moving, changing angles on it, and um, he went for went for a throw. I was able to counteract and. Over. Obvious size advantage coming into the match. Was that part of the game plan? Take advantage of the size? Take advantage of the lungs. That's it. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to use leg drive. Yeah, I'm going to use as much size advantage as I can. But the big thing was trying to outwork his lungs because I knew mine, mine had been tested. I wanted to see how his were. Does wrestling in the NCAA championship finals a couple times help in this environment? I mean, it helps with the you know big stage, a lot of people competing, and you know being there a couple times. It helps to kind of. Um, you know, settle things down a little bit, knowing that I've, you know, been in this type of environment before. Um, Fargo is another great example of that one. Um, so, yeah, there's a bunch of different tournaments that kind of get that same type feel. So, I was able to, so even though it is the World Championships, I'm able to kind of correlate to, yeah, I've wrestled in Fargo, I've wrestled in the same atmosphere, I've wrestled in Chrysler, same atmosphere, and say final, same atmosphere. So, it helps me to kind of tone it down and real, remember that it's just a match, and then I'm going to take it as a match and wrestle the best I can. Have you ever had more fun? Four in a row, four pins in the row, the world I mean, championship. <laughs> nothing comes to mind right now, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so um, uh, he got hit for cautions and stuff for like running. I mean, how did that make you feel when you knew you had that kind of control? I knew he was getting a lot of, he had a lot of leg drive, and that's how he's beating his past opponents was that leg drive and be able to push them around. So the fact that I was able to um, put his game onto him um, helped to kind of increase my. Um, my confidence as the match grew. Obviously, I was work watching out for those, uh, you know, arm throws that he had because you, you know, was close to getting two of them right there. So, um, yeah. So it helped my confidence grow, but at the same time, also worried at the same time. You feel that body lock's obviously uh, it's very big for you. Yep. How much um, do you spend in that position in the practice room, working on it, figuring stuff out, tweaking, making it better? So um, back in. So my, my dad was my high school coach uh, as well as he's the one that got me into wrestling. And ever since I remember, we were we were playing around in those underhooks. My dad always loved underhooks. So the only way that I found around it was body lock. That was the best way that I could keep his underhook down. So basically, since I was six years old, I've been working on body locks <laughs> because I didn't want to get underhooked and lifted. Yeah. So um, it kind of just like working on all through the years, just kind of play wrestling with my dad type thing. And then, you know, again, in the practice room, I'm very used to getting to that body lock, so it, I get there a lot in practice, but it's more of just, I naturally will kind of fall into there because that's naturally where I want to dig to type thing. I've, you know, try to work on a lot of different offense, but it's funny when the matches kind of get, you know, tiring and you start just going on reaction, I naturally semi end up in that order most times. Is that here? Yeah, he's in the stands. Awesome. He's celebrating. What do you do from now until tomorrow? Rest. Rest. That's the biggest thing I can do. Just make sure my mind, my body's ready. And just rest. Get some fuel, get some food, and you know, just rest. And once competition starts, then we're all geared in. But until that point comes, rest and recover. Looks like you, you got the Russian. You will take on, sorry, sorry, I, no, um, I might have to cut a couple of pounds, but you know, or just put a sweatshirt on, make sure I swim it all, just get breakfast or get breakfast late, and I should be fine. Sure. Sorry. Yeah. You will have Sergey Seminov in the finals. Thoughts on that? Uh, wrestled him, juniors. And he throttled me, so I'm ready to go and see how much better I've gotten. Awesome. Awesome Co job today. Thank you. Thanks, Coach, man. would you say a few things? Do you mind? <laughs>